Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to the regular expressions tutorial. Uh, if you want to start from the first lesson, I'll put a link in the description below so you can click that and go there if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we got lesson eight here, characters optional. As you saw in the previous lesson, the clean star and plus allow us to match repeated characters in a line. Another quantifier that is really common when matching and extracting text is the question mark meta character, which denotes optionality. This meta character allows you to match either zero or one of the preceding character or group. For example, the pattern A, B, question mark C will match either the string A, B, C or A, C uh, because the B is optional. Similar to the dot meta character, the question mark is a special character and you'll have to escape it using, the, using a slash question mark. That is the slash above your enter key on the keyboard to match a plain question mark character in a string. In the strings below, notice how the plurality of the word file depends on the number of files found. Try writing a pattern that uses the optionality meta character to match only the lines where one or more files were found. All right. So if we want to make this S optional, what we can do is we can do, let's say, file, and then we put an S, and then we put a question mark. So either, in this case, it finds just file, and that's fine, or it finds files, because this S is optional, because we put that question mark, it will match those. Now, we don't want to match this one, we want to skip this one. Um, so what can we do to get rid of it when it says no? Well, if we look over at the lesson cheat sheet here, if you remember back, uh, there's this slash D that will represent any digit. So if we put that at the beginning, and then we're going to put the plus sign, because it can be one or more digits here, and then we'll put a space. Now you'll see that it's matched this one file, or two files, or 24 files. And if we want, we can even put the found. And then if we want to put the question mark here, we'll have to do that escape slash and then the question mark. All right. So you can also look at what solution they provided here. Uh, and you can see they got to the same solution we did. Uh, so that's how you would do that matching there. All right, let's continue to lesson nine. Uh, this is about white space. When dealing with real-world inputs, such as log files and even user input, it's difficult not to encounter white space. We use it to format pieces of information to make it easier to read and scan visually, and a single space can put a wrench into the simplest regular expression. The most common forms of white space you will use the tab, the new line, and the carriage uh, in Windows environments. And these special characters match each of their respective white spaces. In addition, a white space special character, so this is the slash, again, that's above your enter key, S will match any of those specific white spaces above and is extremely useful when dealing with raw input text. In the strings below, you'll find that the content of each line is indented by some white space from the index of the line. Number is a part of the text to match. Try writing a pattern that'll match each line uh, containing white space characters between the number and the contact content. Sorry. Notice that the white space characters are just like any other character, and the special meta characters like the star and the plus can be used as well. All right, so we want to match these first three and not match this last one. So this one will give you a little bit of time to think about what kind of pattern you would put in there to match the first three but not the last one. And then I'll come back and show you how to do it. Uh, so you can stop the video now and do it on your own. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to show you what I would do. So again, we have uh, a digit here. So if we look over at the cheat sheet, if you remember, this slash D will give us the digit. So it's matching this first digit. It's also matching the last one, which we don't want it to match the whole thing. And then we put a, a dot would be any character. So to escape, we can put a dot because the dot just represents 
any character. You can see from the cheat sheet over here. So by putting the slash, it escapes whatever that means, and it gives you a dot. So now we're matching one dot, two dot, three dot, et cetera. Also, if you want to do, um, so if this number is going to go above nine, so if it's going to be like 10, 11, et cetera, where you're going to have two, two different digits, then you can put the plus there as well, where it'll match one or more digits at the beginning. All right, so now we've got some white space here in these, uh, but we don't have white space here. So remember, we learned in this lesson that this slash s will give you any white space that you have. And also, we're going to put the plus there uh, because it could be one or more spaces, tabs, etc. But we know we want at least one. And then at the end, we'll put a, b, c. So that matches all three of these and does not match this one. So we can look at what the solution they provided is, and it looks like they got to the same thing we did, except they didn't put the plus there because they didn't think, I guess, that this was going to get into more than one digit for the, uh, the number there. All right, I'm going to stop there. Uh, if you want to continue with these regular expression lessons, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and like the channel. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Otherwise, thank you very much.